Welcome to the Garden of Favor podcast, where we are committed to cultivating lives and businesses God's way, because when we do, we see the evidence of his favor. I'm warning you now, be prepared. You might cry a little bit and you might be tempted to shout a couple yeses and amens as we ask ourselves the tough questions and get honest with God about what he wants to do in us and through us for the kingdom. Hey, sister friend, I'm Heather, teacher turned six-figure corporate exec, Turn top 1% network marketer, turn dream job, live in my best life as a mindset strategist and kingdom blueprints coach for Christian entrepreneurs. I believe your life is like a garden and your business plays a major role in fulfilling your purpose and calling. Are you ready to get your mindset and heart set in sync with the father so you can bloom into all he's created you to be? Then let's grow girl. Happy Friday, sister friend. I am excited to hang out with you today. If you know, if you hang out with me on social, you know I'm actually in the middle of JOMO, the joy of missing out. And so I have started to implement about two years ago, this is now the third year that the Lord's put on my heart in some way, shape, or form to implement JOMO, the opposite of FOMO, the fear of missing out. The enemy loves to use that tactic, especially against us who are driven and who have God-sized dreams and entrepreneurial. And here I am, I'm off of social. And I love today's topic because I'm gonna talk about JOMO and how it actually ties into God's calendar this month. So we actually just entered into the new Hebrew month to vet. If you've been following along over the last year, you know a little bit about my story. Um, through my own healing journey, the Lord introduced me through a coach of mine through to these healing Hebrew months, the months that I had been reading about in God's word and led me to some other awesome teachers of the word and understanding the Hebrew calendar in conjunction with our Gregorian calendar. And so I make a lot of references from Christine Vallis. She has his appointed times journal and study guide that I love. I'm going to talk about that today. And then the healing in the Hebrew month series. There's three different authors. They are incredible. They've done some giveaways for us and they uh, are just such good teachers to help us understand this deeper revelation, this deeper understanding of God. And so it's so cool how it actually ties into this month of Jomo. So we just entered into the new Hebrew month to vet. Uh, actually, we it started on December 5th and it goes to January 2nd. And uh, the month of to vet, uh, to vet actually, literally the word means good. And so I love thinking about God is up to something good. He is turning things around. Actually, I've been listening to that song on non, like on repeat. I told my husband the other day, I was like, just be prepared. This is on, this is on repeat. And he's like, he already knows I'm going to listen to it by like every singer, every group. I'm going to listen to the same song. I'm just going to listen to it in a variety of different ways. Uh, But anyways, this month is good. And it's all about growing up, getting things in order, and a couple other things. So uh, Christine Vallis is her focus. You know, she's, she's that it's good growing up and getting things in order. And then Leia Lusane, who is one of the authors of Healing in the Hebrew Months, she has to say about to that it's a month of authority. It's a season to prevail against our enemies, being angry but not sinning. It is a season of fasting and purification, reclaiming whatever the enemy has stolen from us. I don't know about you, but the enemy has stolen some things from me and I know he has stolen things from you because we know that the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So this is a month where we get to take back what the enemy has taken from us. We get to see from God's perspective. This also has to do, this month has to do with our vision. And are we seeing from God's perspective or are we seeing from our own earthly perspective? And I don't know about you, but I can get so stuck in what I see in the earthly, in the natural realm that I can sometimes forget or ignore that God is doing stuff in the spiritual realm and he's always working and moving on our behalf. And so again, that song, uh, it just talks about God is up to something. He is doing something. He's saving somebody right now. He is healing somebody right now. And so I am excited to see everything that God is up to uh, right now, it's sometimes, again, we don't see it in the spiritual, but when it manifests into the natural that we can actually see that. And so we're actually in the season of winter. And in the Hebrew months, winter actually stands for a season of victory and joy. 
And so I can't help but think of joy and JOMO, right? The joy of missing out. This is actually a season to miss out on what the world has to offer. This is part of the flow that we talk about in the Made to Flow Academy. If you missed the masterclass, go back and listen to that. Um, but really one of the one of the principles of flow and how to live in flow is to follow the Lord over the world because Jesus is what gives us joy. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. And as I was kind of preparing for a podcast episode specifically on Jomo, I ended up just tying these two together because um, they they make sense. And it's so cool to see how how the Lord has just allowed me to implement this Jomo in my own life and in my business. In fact, I'm writing this into my business plan from here on out. This is the third year that I've done this in some way, shape, or form. But this year, as if you know, I'm off social. I'm not on social for the month of December. And I am not doing anything client facing uh, this month and moving forward. No, no, not taking any like new clients or calls. And so it's just for me to lean into the Lord and to really just, I'm not going to miss out on anything. As an online business owner, right, we're told that we have to post every day and multiple times a day and consistency is key. And while I understand that, God doesn't care about the algorithm and there is joy in missing out on whatever the world has to offer. And that's going to look different for everybody, right? The Lord might not be calling you to get off social media, but he's, he called me to, and he's giving me this opportunity to implement this into every December of me taking the month off from clients and pouring out and letting the Lord pour into me. And he gave me this verse, Romans 15, 13. And I want to read it to you because I think this is such a good reminder of what this season and what this prophetic month in this Hebrew month of Tevet is really all about. It's a good month. It's a month of divine grace. And it comes from the Hebrew word tov. And it literally that translated, it means good. And so may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And so I love this first because as I was actually working through the Made to Flow Academy and I was working with the beta students going through it, at the very end of it, the Lord brought me to several scriptures that kept talking about overflow, overflow, overflow so much so that I thought, oh my gosh, God, are you trying to tell me that I did something wrong? Like I shouldn't be teaching them how to flow. I should be teaching them how to overflow. And he was like, no, 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 no. He's so after panicking for like a few days, he's like, no, you have to learn how to flow before you can overflow. And so I just believe this is a month of unblocking some things, of getting things in order. And Christine Wallace talks about this, that it's about getting things in order. It's about our tithe and it's about our testimony. In fact, the Hebrew letter Yod is is um, is the number 10. And so the number, the month Tevet is the actual 10th spiritual month on the calendar. And so you can look at that and you see in scripture that 10 often has to do with our testimony. It has to do with getting things in order. I love that because this is this month that the Lord's like, yes, I'm giving you an opportunity to get things in order with me so that you will have a testimony uh, of, of, of whatever's to come, right? And so we know that in Revelation, it talks about that it's by the power of Jesus's blood and the word of our testimony. And that is why I think the enemy is after so many people ashamed of their testimony or preventing a testimony, um, keeping them stuck. And so if you feel like you're stuck and you see this thing or you know that the Lord's calling you to do more, but you're stuck, there is still time to join the Made to Flow Academy for my podcast listeners. And so if you have been contemplating and you're like, man, I want to get unstuck and learn how to flow so that I can overflow in 2022. And really we can't, you know, you've heard this saying before, we can't pour from an empty cup. I believe this month of Tibet is positioning us so that we can get in right standing to take back what the enemy has stolen, which is really usually our identity. And that's so much of what Made to Flow Academy is. It's getting to the source of your issues of what's keeping you stuck from doing and being and living the life that God has called you to live and what Jesus already paid the price for. And so some more things that we can look at in this month is um, this season of victory. It's a season of joy. So for the next three months, y'all, like, I don't know about you, but the last two years have been a little wild and it's made a lot of us question a lot of things. But 
we are being set up for a season of victory and joy. And so do you see that? Because this month is also tied to our vision. And so do we see what God is doing or do we see what the uh, what we see on the earth, right? And we know that we're not warring against flesh and blood. We're, we're, this is about principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness. So this is a, this is like good versus evil. And so there is this concept, and Christine shares this in her chalkboard teaching, which I'll link that below for you guys. But the, the letter of the month is I-N, A-Y-I-N, and it has to do with our vision. It has to do with our focus. And so what a good time for us to get refocused and to get our vision set on God's vision for us moving forward. And again, what uh, Leah shared to take back what the enemy has stolen, right? And there's also in this month, um, fasting. And so this is actually tied to the 10th of Tevet, which on our calendar, it's actually next Tuesday. So if you feel like the Lord's leading you to fast, I want to encourage you set, set some, set the day, whether it's a physical fast, or maybe it's you joining me and fasting from social media for the, for the month or for a day or for a week, whatever. Um, there's so many benefits to fasting. In fact, I think that is something that the church does not teach us enough. Um, I know growing up, I had heard of it, read about it in the Bible, but didn't really know all the benefits of it. And so um, I'm excited to, I'm going to bring a guest on for that one and to share a little bit more about the, the the power of fasting. But we can see it all throughout scripture. In fact, we see it on the 10th of Tibet, which is next Tuesday. It's the 14th of December. And it is um, a day to consider, a, it's, it's a minor fast in scripture. And it is all around when Jerusalem the siege of Jerusalem by Nebuchadnezzar, which ended up leading them into captivity and actually was the fall of the first temple. And so fasting, just like Esther we read about, right? She told the people to fast. Actually, Esther's tied to this month of Tevet as well. And so Esther was actually crowned queen in the month of Tevet. I mean, come on. Right? We think, and I think, again, sometimes we say these things like, you were made for such a time as this, um, Esther 414. But you really were. There's no coincidences in the kingdom. Like, God has you here on purpose. And this is a good month to get things in order, to take back what the enemy has stolen, to perhaps fast and pray about what it is that he's calling you into. What If you need clarity, if you need a breakthrough, if you just want to reset. And so... Not only spiritually is fasting really good, but physically it's good. And so this month is also tied to the to the liver. And when you fast, it's almost like this reset of the liver. And so, so much goodness in this month, um, in this month of, for me, JOMO. And so I just encourage you, whether it's one day, a week, or the rest of this month, somehow, some way in this month, implement JOMO into your life so that you can be filled with, with the hope of Jesus and his joy, knowing that you can trust in him for what's ahead and so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So let me see what else I want to share with you. Um, and I just want to encourage you, like I can, I'm a teacher, Nat naturally, literally, I'm a certified education teacher, I'm a certified K to sixth grade. And I taught in the public school system for several years, but Literally, it's also a spiritual gift of mine. And so I love to teach. Really why, one of the reasons I love the podcast. But one thing that I want to encourage you and continue to encourage you is if this stuff, if, if you feel this like, ooh, something's just bubbling up in your spirit or your tummy, you're just something in your belly is like, oh, this is interesting. And oh my goodness, if anything that I've said resonated with you and you're like, oh, that's exactly where I'm at or that's what I need. I want to encourage you to go to the resources below that I'm going to share all the authors of Healing in the Hebrew Months and then uh, the Christine Ballas. She has incredible monthly chalkboard teachings and then she has her journal and study guide for his appointed times. In fact, I just ordered the new one for 2022. It's out and ready. She's got some other resources online. The Healing in the Hebrew Months has their calendar um, and they have a couple other really awesome, beautiful resources that you can do. They actually did a giveaway a couple months ago for us. Um, but I encourage you, like I can teach you 
And it's just like going to church on a Sunday, right? On a Sunday morning, like the pastor can teach you stuff, which is great. We're called to do that, right? But there is nothing like your own personal revelations with the Lord. And so, you know, throughout, and I've shared a little bit of my testimony of, you know, things that I was taught growing up, things that, you know, um, for example, like, um, spiritual gifts. Uh, I grew up in a church that believes in cessation, cessationists. They believe that with, when the apostles died, um, a lot of those spiritual gifts went away with them and we don't have access to those today. On my own personal journey, I know that I know that I know that I know that I know, and really it started with my healing journey, is the Lord used people with some gifts of the Spirit to help heal me in, in a season. And so I started to dig into, wait a second, I was told that that's not. And I'm not here to argue that with you if, if that's where you are at. But what I'm saying is that I know that I know that I know that I know because of my own personal experience with the Lord. And nobody can take that away from me. It's similar when you open the Bible and you read the Word of God yourself. And when He speaks to you personally in your own life. And so, of course, I have all these notes for myself. Um, but there's nothing that replaces your personal like revelation and uh, connection with the Lord. And so I encourage you, buy some of these resources. First of all, go support them as, as um, you know, Bible teachers and entrepreneurs. Go support them, get their resources, and get ready for your world to be rocked in 2022 on our calendar. Um, and just see how God's incredible timing on his calendar is literally tied to what's going on in our in our world and in your life. And so I just pray that this blesses you. I pray that these resources bless you. And I am excited to see what is ahead. So as you know, again, I'm off of the social media for the month of Jomo, but I do have my email. So if you want to email me, I've had a few of you asking some questions about the Made to Flow Academy, still considering hopping in. There is some time. Uh, you're going to get lesson one next week and the prep work. And then we jump right into the group coaching calls uh, the first week of the first full week of January. So if you've got questions for me, comments for me, I've got some other really exciting things coming up as well. I know that 2022, God has so much goodness in store. And so take this time this month to prepare, to fast from something, to see God's vision, to know that good things are ahead as he's working on your testimony um, and he is doing things, right? We don't always see it, but God is up to something. And I do feel like it's going to be something we've never seen, uh, like stuff we read about in the Bible, right? That is still the God that we serve. And I'm excited for it. And I'm praying for you. And I can't wait to see what is ahead. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for your divine time. We thank you that there are no coincidences in this lifetime, in the kingdom, and that you have purposely orchestrated every single thing. So Lord, we thank you for this month of Tevet. We thank you for an opportunity to experience Jomo, the joy of missing out on what the world has to offer to, to accept and receive and experience what you have for us. So Lord, we thank you for that. And I pray over every ear listening to this, Lord, as they are I'm just learning more about you that you continue to take them deeper as your word says that deep calls to deep and so i just pray that they continue to seek you and they find you uh, with all their hearts so lord we love you we thank you for this month and we thank you for all that you're doing we give you praise and glory and honor in advance in jesus name amen <music>